What's up, boss babes? Welcome back to another video. I hope y'all got a snack or a drink or something to nibble on because this video is gonna get chatty and it might get long. So if you want to stay tuned, hear about my budget chronicles for the past few months and what's been going on and why I disappeared, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So this video can go either one or two ways. It can go super short or super long, but I feel like a lot of things that I'm going to explain the explanation in order for you guys to understand. Um, I don't want to make it too long, um, but like I said, prepare yourself, get you a drink, or I hope you have a drink and a snack um, because homegirl over here and her family have been through the utmost ridiculous situations that can possibly just happen. So... If you guys remember, my last video was, I want to say, July 15th. I want to say it was July 15th or July 1st. I do have a video on my iPad that I recorded for July 15th. I can't remember which cash stuff it was. I don't know if it was Seeking Funds or if it was Saving Challenges, but I never uploaded it because that's when everything just hit the fan. It's not until I got older that I understand the saying, um, when it rains, it pours. And my mother used to say that all the time when she'd be in the car. She'd be on the phone with her girlfriends. She'd be like, you know what? When it rained and it poured, you know? And me, as a young child, never knew what that meant. I was like, what she mean when it rained and poured? It just poured while I was raining. What, what's she talking about? Y'all, however, as an adult and going through this adult life, which is trash altogether, I'm telling you now, I completely understand what she means. And... Everything was going so good for us. Everything was going so good. And you know, I don't know if some people are like this, but I'm like this. When I think of when things are going so good, I stop and I'm like, oop, something about to happen. Something about to happen, throw a monkey wrench into what we're doing. It's going to throw everything off. It's something bad is going to happen. But I do my best not to think like that and try to remain positive within the moment. That's what I try to do. So, needless to say, how I feel or what I usually think does happen. When everything is going good, something just, just comes in and just wipes that all away. And that's what happened. So, let's get to it. Come start ramble. Unexpected expenses started to pile up. It was one after another. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll pay this off you know, have extra cash. I just want to put so much towards cash stuff things in the videos and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Then it was another thing. Then it was another thing. Then it was another thing. Um, so I have briefly explained how bills work here in Germany. They are of the devil. Okay. <laughs> Let's just make that clear. If you live off base, it is confusing. It is a headache. It is Mm, what's it's bull crap pretty much um and when you think you're doing it right you're not and that's what irritates me um because everything they send to you also is in german nothing's in english they're like you live in my country you gonna get what i give it what i give to you in german which i ain't got a problem with that because they're absolutely correct with that you know so we use a translator however i've explained how our utilities work here um, at the end of the year, you get a letter letting you know, hey, you've used this much or or you you, you bleh, sorry, you used over what we estimated you to use or you've used under. So if you used over, you owe them a lump sum, however much that would be based on the meter readings that we have to send them at the end of every year. Um, if you did not use what they estimated, you get money back from them because that means you've overpaid um, throughout the year. Again, we cannot negotiate that price at all whatsoever. I'm going to get into that story. We cannot negotiate that price. Whatever they set as the estimated total amount monthly, that is what you pay. Point blank, period. There is, oh no, we're not going to use that much. Y'all need to change that number. Nope, that's what you're going to pay. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but... For one of our utility bills, or for two of our utility bills, we got money back. That was great. That was awesome. 
something told me to put that whole entire lump sum, which was like a good maybe 900 euros, put that back into the utility envelope, which I didn't have at the moment, but I kept saying, I'm going to get a utility envelope, which I ended up getting from Miss Cali Budgets and I absolutely love. Um, put that money in there. And then when the next utility bill comes, if we so happen to owe them, pull that money out of that envelope and boom, you good. Guess who didn't do that? I didn't. We used the money on things that we needed for the house, things we needed for the girls, things that we have been putting off because we needed to get it. Didn't have money envelopes for these things, but we're like, you know what? We need to get this stuff. We've been holding off on these things. They need to, you know, we just need to go ahead and get it. So that's what we did. We used that money. And I kept thinking, in my head, I kept thinking, you know what? We shouldn't even have to owe for our last utility bill. I said, it shouldn't even be high. There's no point. Y'all, y'all, when I tell you that last utility bill came, and we owed them over 900 euros. I was pissed, okay? Mad at me? Mad? No, no, they ain't mad. Uh -huh. Okay? Because, one, we sent them our meter reading, and it's the same company. However, it's two different utility bills, electricity and gas. Gas is for heating, electricity is for lights. And um, we sent both of our meter readings to the company for both utility bills. Apparently, our gas was sent too early. Our meter reading was sent too early. Do you think anybody sent an email letting us know, excuse me, that, um, hey, you sent this too early. We're going to need the meter reading in the next few months, not right now. No. Nobody sent anything. Nobody sent an email. Nobody sent a letter. And usually they're really good at sending letters about what they need and what they want. Nobody sent nothing. So, of course, we're thinking that we're good. I was like, cross off my checklist. We've sent meter readings for the year. We are good. We should be receiving letters from every utility company. <sighs> well, that utility company or that utility bill was through the roof. And that was what we owed them. We owed them that because our utility, our meter reading was too early. So they suspected that we used more than the actual picture. So they estimated what they thought we used. Okay, one. Two, they went off by the number side of our family, which is four. Um, but... Um, they're not aware that we had a baby and they're not aware that we have one on the way. So for the usage, it is four. However, if we was to tell them that it's a family of five or six coming up, honey, I'm about to tell y'all what the utility bill is right now based off their estimation. So because it was sent um, early, they estimated what they thought we would use. I tried to call to negotiate. I was like, okay, well, can I please just send the new meter reading now? She And she was very helpful, the lady I did speak to. She was like, yes. She was like, I'm sorry about this. I wish it was more communication. And I was like, oh, it's fine. There's no no worries about it. Then it's hard because as soon as you say, uh, speak in English, they say nine and hang up the phone. They don't even try to speak English to you. So it, it takes time to get to someone who's willing to help you or even willing to try to understand what you're saying in English. And this lady, she was patient, and I, I really was thankful for her because she took the time. Cause I guess she heard my frustration. Like I'm tired. I'm tired of calling. I, I need help. I need to figure out what this situation is. So she explains to me why they did it like that and why they do it like that. And she kept apologizing, but you know, it's not for her to apologize. It's company policy. Completely understand. So I was like, well, can I just send a meter reading now of what it is? So you guys can see, because I said, I'm pretty sure we're not using as much as you guys are estimating. There, There's absolutely no way. And she was like, sure, yes, you can do that. But you need to send it to me by 2 o'clock today before I leave. And I was like, perfect. I'm doing it now. Got her email, sent it over to her. Got the letter in the mail. I was right. We didn't use as much, but we still owed 656 euros. 
because it was still late. And they, and she did warn me. She said, I can only help. She said, they may not change the estimated amount because it's already set in stone. She said, but I can try. They changed how much we owed them, but then they kept the same estimated monthly payments that we have to pay them for the next year. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? We have to pay them on the first of every month, 285 euro. Now, <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? <laughs> now, I'm gonna put it on screen right here. This is how much that is as of today. Like as of today, this is how much this is in the currency, which today is the 2nd of December. Every day the currency changes. So one day is 81 cents to a dollar. The next day is 84 cents to a dollar. The next day can be 87 cents to a dollar. We'd be like, thank God. And then the next day can be 74 cents to a dollar and we on the couch crying because that means the lower the currency to the dollar, that means the more money they take. And so even though it's a flat rate, um, what comes out of our account, our U.S. account, is based on that currency at that time. So whatever equals $285 to whatever currency that is in euro, that's how much is being pulled. So we are giving them at least oh, over 300 at least close to maybe 330 I'm thinking off the top of my head, but I'll give you the exact number as of today, December 2nd, um, what we paid them uh, for this month. Um, this is the total of what we paid and it could be from range to 330 to 360 real easy. And if it gets really bad, the currency gets really bad. It could be almost 400. Like it's y'all, that's a lot of money and that's a month. And that money was helping us pay off extra debt. It was going to sinking funds. It was going to money envelopes. Like it kind of just threw a monkey, a monkey wrench in our whole entire budget. Again, we cannot negotiate. So we have to stick with that until we get a new utility bill and they give us a new usage letter saying, okay, you didn't use that much. So, you know, you get this money back or you did use that much. So guess what? It's either going to stay the same. It's going to get higher. So at this moment, we'll be getting a new bill come July. And that's when we get that bill. Our electricity bill comes January. January is a very stressful month because we get our usage letter for our water and our electricity in January. And we're literally on our toes whenever we go to the mailbox and we get that letter. And we're just like, oh, Lord, please don't let us own nothing because it ain't just like no 20, no 10 euro. It'd be hundreds of euros, okay? And that's the main reason why I really want to start a utility um, cash envelope um, for things like this. Mind you, the whole four years we've been here, we've never owed anything. We've always came under and we've always gotten money back like 500, 600 euros. This is the first time we've ever owed anything. And... Um, of course, this is a new house. We've only been here going on two years. And so it's, uh, it's been difficult to say the least. So that's one thing. So the utility bill that we had to pay them went from 900 to 656 euro. So we were paying, so we paid them like 750 or something like that in us. So we had to go to the bank, pay them 750. Okay. After that was done. Our truck started to act up. That was the next thing. And it was one thing after another. Our AC decided to go out. Blazing hot. When I say blazing hot, like sweating, sitting on the couch inside the house, even with the Rolandans. So the Rolandans are like these shutters that they have here in Germany. Love them to death. Can't wait till we can, if we are able, Lord willing, to build our home. I want Rolandans because they're nice. However, Summertime, they don't do AC in Germany. So there is no central AC in any of the houses. Um, and if you do have a house that has central AC, oh, you best believe you paying for it um, because they don't do AC here. And it makes sense because their summers are so short. I, we have like two months of summer. The rest of the year is all winter because um, it's stupid cold. And so it doesn't make sense to really have it. Um, so 
Either you have a portable AC or you just keep your windows open. Again, blazing hot, ridiculous. AC decides to go out in the truck. It's me, I'm pregnant with three babies in our truck, whipping and riding around the city. I My kids think I'm a chauffeur, so every day I they got a play date with somebody. Um, I got errands to go do, I got appointments. It was ridiculous. And so I'm thugging it out. I'm like, we're rolling down the windows because I didn't even want to bother to think about how much it would have been to get our AC fixed. My husband was like, babe, we need to get it fixed. Y'all riding around, y'all need to go ahead and get this fixed. In my mind, I'm like, oh, we can roll down the windows. It's not that bad. Before we know it, winter's about to come right around. I was like, S September's right around the corner. It's about to get real cold. We'll be good. Yeah, we wasn't good. Um... The heat then decided to go out. And my husband, that's when he said, okay, oh, hell no. Um, we're getting this fixed because y'all not about to be riding around this truck and it's freezing cold and there's no heat. That I couldn't argue with him about. Completely understood. I said, okay, I got you. We're going to get it fixed. Y'all, we went to two different places to get a inspection so they can tell us what was wrong so that we can fix it. Each inspection cost 100 euros. Again, that's over $100 each time. Now, we had a little bulk in our vehicle maintenance. Our vehicle maintenance envelope did pay for the inspection, which sucked because they said the same thing. And so, I was just like, okay, cool. Mind you, doing all of that, our brakes, our brakes decided to start acting up. Husband was like, you're not about to be riding around with the brakes sounding like that. And then, you know, something happened to you in the car. Can't argue with him. Okay, cool. Let's go see how much the brakes cost. Again, I'm feeling confident because we have money and vehicle maintenance. Thinking that we should be good. Y'all, if I can find the receipts, because there were so many receipts, I'll screenshot the receipts and put them in here. If I can't, um, ballpark. Again, two inspections was two was 100 euros each so that was over $200 I mean $100 each so that's already like maybe 220 um well summertime <laughs> currency was bad it was like 70 something during summertime so imagine more than 220 um so doing that and then nobody could figure out or nobody could help us put it that way nobody could help us fix our AC everybody kept saying Oh, this job we are not equipped for. You need to either go to Nissan or you need to go to another mechanic because they're going to have to lift the body off the truck. And the last guy we went to, he was like, I'm letting you know it's going to be expensive because they have to lift the body off the truck because the wires run underneath the truck. And it was dual because we have the rear and the front AC um, and heat uh, controls. And so when he said that, my heart literally sank. Like it just, I was like, okay, cool. In my mind, I'm like, I don't want to take out a loan. I don't want to take out a loan. I don't want to take out a loan, but we need to get this truck done. I don't want to take out a loan. Y'all, it beat us up. When I tell you that we were down that day, because it just seemed like everything kept going. Mind you, we had just picked up our car anyways our truck because the brakes. So we went ahead and did that. My husband was like, anything needs to get done needs to be these brakes. Then we can do AC and heat after. Brakes alone, we had to get them done twice. Twice. The first time, they found, they didn't find anything. They did what we asked them to. But when we picked them up, they was like, hey, so something else wrong with the brakes. <laughs> Y'all need to get it done. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, what, how, how bad? And they was like, mm, it's, it's pretty bad because it's attached to your brakes. My husband, ain't no negotiating. It's your brakes, your safety come first. So then we drop our car off again. Here they go doing the brakes again. Y'all, each time we paid, it was over $300. Over $300 to get them done. And not only did we have to pay for parts on top of that, which did not include the 300, um, of course, paying for the labor too. So add that up, 300 times two, and then 
um, we're just gonna say 200 times two. This is how much that costs. This is before AC and heating. Well, here we go trying to figure out the AC and the heating because it was just, uh, I mean, there was no, anything else we could do. We really just need to get it done. We got to somebody that was able to fix the AC and the heating. But by this point, we had to dip into our emergency fund. As much as, it, we, as much as we did not want to touch that emergency fund, we kept telling ourselves that's what it's there for. It, that's what it's there for. And so we got to the point where we, just, we were okay with that. We're like, you know what? Okay, cool. We're going to use it. It's there. It's cash. There's no point taking out a loan. If we have it in cash, just use it. Cool. We paid 467 euros. That came out to over $500 to get the AC and the heat done. Cool. We think it we bought. Okay, cool. We got it done. We good. Mm-mm. No, um, they called us back and was like, hey, so the mechanic did another inspection and he found out where the leak was coming from, from the AC. Okay, cool. Oh my God, because you broke, oh my God. All right, we told y'all there was a leak. We gave y'all the paperwork from the other mechanic so that y'all can see what their notes were so that we can bypass all of that so that y'all can do what they said was wrong. They noticed after we paid for the other work. However, the AC and the heat did work though. It did work. So they called and they said, hey, so yeah, he found the reason why the leak is happening. And I'm just like, all right, cool. Just hit it to me. How much is going to be? Da -da -da -da. We get there, I go in, she's talking to me. She was like, so it's the condenser. I was like, okay, don't know what that is. Don't know what it does. How much is condenser gonna be? She was like, it's gonna be over a hundred euros, close to 200 euros. I said, it. do you have an exact price? She was like, no, because once he gets in, he needs to see if he needs to add more coolant. And if he needs to add more coolant, then that's another 50 euros. And I'm just like, Lord Jesus. Take the wheel, Lord, take the wheel. So she was like, so it's probably gonna be close to 300 euros more to get the condenser and the coolant done. She said, it may not be that much, but she said, um, it probably will be close to that, between two to 300 euros. I'm like, you know what, okay, cool, that's fine. We're gonna do it. We said, but not right now, um, because something else had happened in between all that, and I'm about to go back to that. And I said, but can we have the information because we're going to come back and we're going to get that done. We felt confident. We have more than enough in emergency, an emergency fund. Cool. All right. So that week that that happened, we have to get our cars inspected every year or two years, depending on what you purchase. If you purchase for one year, it's 35. If you purchase for two years, it's 70. Um, and the inspection is for, regist for registering your car. So every one or two years, you have to re-register your car to make sure that it is safe to be on the road okay that alone in itself make us want to leave germany um we get the precautions but when i tell y'all that it is stressful and it is literally a money guzzler that's exactly what it is no matter if we and we have appointments no matter if we have appointments or we going on time or we going before the date before our re-registration date it's always something it don't matter it don't matter. So within that week, we went to go get my truck inspected because it was coming up. All right, cool. We're thinking we should be fine. I said, the most thing they're going to say is that we need to get the tires done. I said, okay, we got to get tires done. Cool, we'll fail the inspection, go get tires. Da, da, da. They did say it was the tires. And then they also said our headlights have moisture in it. So all we literally had to do was just pop the thing out, wipe the moisture off, and pop it back in. But they failed us for that. They literally fell for every little thing, y'all. So, like, we literally have to be on our P's and Q's. Like, they do not play. Um, but, so, as we are trying to figure out for tires, mind you, we need winter tires. We can't have summer tires. We have to have 
a, 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 cert, a certain tire. It's called M plus S. Well, it has to say M plus S. Um, we have to have those tires. They actually look at the tire to make sure it says M plus S on it. So that's all weather plus snow or something like that. Cool. Our tires are kind of big. We got a Nissan Armada. It is huge. We go to the people that's doing our car already. We're like, hey, do y'all have tires that y'all can get us within the next few days that we can purchase? They couldn't find any tires in all of Germany for our truck. She was like, we have summer tires, but that's about it. I was like, mm, no, we need winter tires or we're going to fail the inspection again. So here we go. Trying to look for tires still, okay? Still haven't found any at all whatsoever. So another monkey wrench until into our thing. So we're just thinking about how much these tires are going to cost. Because my husband's like, it's good practice we need to get. Because it was only one tire that was bad. But he said, it's good practice that you get two. So it was our rear right tire. So he was like, we have to get two rear tires. He said, if you're going to change one out in the rear, you need to change both. And I was like, okay, cool. Not, not fighting with you, you know? And so couldn't find these tires. And we were just thinking about how much that was going to cost in Euro. Just the tires itself on top of labor. We were literally trying to wrap our head around that. So, still haven't found any tires or anything like that. Cool. So, now we're just trying to navigate the utilities that that we still haven't paid yet because we're still trying to figure out how we're going to go about paying this. This We had a certain amount of time that we could pay it. Um, but we're still navigating that. We were getting the truck done because that to us, that was priority. Well, that day we came home, we sat down and we're like, this stuff has to get done. Either way, it has to get done and we need to be able to do it. So, as much as it hurt my soul to touch my cash envelopes, y'all, I was hurt, okay? I was hurt because I seen how far we have came and how much we have saved. And in less then a second, we were ripping all those envelopes open and taking out all those cash, all that cash. And I wrote down the amounts, and I left it in my office, but I wrote down the amounts that we have saved up. So for the um, for the cash envelope, the 100 cash envelope um, challenge, we saved $949. Thankful. Thankful. Um, the budget mom, we saved $360 something dollars thankful we were happy we were like yes whoo okay this will pay for something the 900 one that completely was obliterated it went straight to the utilities pretty much um because not also did we have to pay the, five, the 656 but we also had to pay the upcoming utility bill of 285 so that was just completely just taken and gone that 900 went straight to the utility bill so we're like, okay, at least that is done. As much as I didn't want to touch that, I was like, you know what? It's done. It's gone. It, that's what it was there for. Um, and then the other 300 that went to getting the rest of the truck done that we could get done. So now we are still in the position of looking for tires for our truck. Mind you, every month, because our inspection was due in October. Okay, every month or every 30 days after your inspection renewal, you have to go in, get new temp tags, and that costs $70 itself. And then you also have to re-register or pay a registration fee because it's not registered per se for that year or two years. So we are paying $35 and $70 every single month since October. My husband just came back today, got new temp tags for our truck for the second or third time. You can only get it for three times. So I think this is our third time because we're still looking for tires. And so we have to get something like we have no other choice. We have to get something. And um, he came back and he was able to get some temp tags, but that cost $140. He also had to get temp tags for his car because guess what, y'all? His registration expired today 
for his car. So now, not only are we looking for tires for our my car, now we have to look for tires for his car. Not only do we have to do that, we have to make sure his car is good mechanic wise um, before we take it to inspection because once you take it to inspection, they're gonna look at all that stuff and if they find anything, they're gonna fail us. So now we're dealing with two cars now that we need to get done by the 29th of December. Y'all, this is I wanna scream. I want to scream so bad. Like, what else do you want from us? Like, we is broke to the 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 broke. We is broke, okay? We ain't got no more cash for y'all. I'm like, we don't. We have no more cash. And getting any parts or getting anything done over here is so expensive, especially because we have American cars. So we pay twice as much to get anything done. Oil. Oil change is ridiculous to the point my husband been getting doing our oil um on his own. We'll go to the ho uh, he'll go to the hobby shop and he'll you know rent a little area and he'll do the oil because they literally charge an arm and a leg to do oil. Like that TikTok, y'all, that they talking about premium air in the tires, like the women are like pranking their boyfriends or husbands, or like oil legit. That's how it be over here sometimes. Like, it be ridiculous amounts of money that they're asking for. Like, it, it is ridiculous. So, either way, that is what we're dealing with at this very moment. We're still dealing for, we're still dealing with tires. All right, y'all. So, my video cut off because my memory, it is full. So, I need to clean out my phone. Um, But either way, so that's what we're at. Looking for tires for, still looking for tires for, my truck and now we need to look for tires for my husband's truck and then we also need to figure out what else whatever else needs to get cleaned or done on his car so that he can pass inspection on the first try and we don't have to continue paying money um to get temp tags so that is what happened now with all of that aside y'all also found out that i was expecting baby number four that sounds exhausting just saying baby number four okay my mom was out there y'all probably know my heart i love my babies i do but honey they are exhausting okay i'm a chauffeur i'm a chef i'm a hairdresser i'm a stylist i'm a play a, a playmate i'm a nurse i'm a counselor i'm a referee um i'm everything and um, my OGs, you guys know that I, we just had a baby girl. She will be one on my birthday. We share the same birthday, of course. She just had to make her entrance on my birthday, December 23rd. So um, she will be one in the next few weeks. I don't know how I'm going to do this, y'all, because they're going to be 14 months apart. And they're about to give me a run for my money. My two oldest are 19 months apart. So a little bit more separated, but still close. These two are super close. They're going to be 14 months apart, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. That's another reason why I haven't been filming, okay? Your girl can sleep all day, all night, all week, all month. I'm exhausted. No matter what I do, no matter how much iron I take, because my iron is low during my pregnancies, no matter how much coffee I drink, no matter anything to give me energy, I don't have. Like, my body just does not keep energy. And I am completely exhausted, okay? So, that was one of the main reasons why I stopped filming um, with everything else going on. I was sick through my whole entire first trimester, completely sick, couldn't do anything. It was like my husband had to take off a couple of days from work sometimes. Like it was, it was bad. My other pregnancies, I was not sick like that. But this one here had me, had me knocked out pretty much. Had me on the ground, couldn't do nothing. I was sick. I wasn't feeling it. I was exhausted. Second trimester, I started to pick up, but I started to get other symptoms. And then now, um, as I'm getting bigger again, Okay, we get it, baby. We get it. We're about to end the video soon. 
y'all. So, <laughs> um, now I'm getting into close to my third trimester. Um, I'm starting to feel that energy depletion again. And it started to make me sad because I just felt like I just got my energy back a little bit of it. And I've been like cleaning the house, decluttering, nesting, things that I could not do my first trimester. And I feel like my energy is being sucked out of me once again. Then I'm getting heavier. I'm getting bigger. Ridiculous, right? So that was a really big, big, big reason why I stepped away. Um, two, because I did not want to record um, videos that were not quality. I just didn't want to have videos just out there um, just because I wanted quality videos. And if I could not give that to you all, I just felt like y'all didn't deserve that. Y'all deserve better. And that was another reason. Um, I hated that I felt like I ghosted you guys because I didn't say anything. But even when I had, I thought I had energy or I wanted to make a video or do something, I couldn't. Let me change that real quick. So, yeah. So, the pregnancy was just not having a good time with me. And it was days that I'll cry, be like, why did we do this so early? You know, I always had a plan that I wanted to have babies before 30. And that was my plan. And it was just, it, it was a lot. And it still is. And so, okay, here we go again. <laughs> Okay, I get it. Okay. So, yeah. So, that within itself is um, tiring and exhausting. Um, couldn't keep nothing down. Um, I felt like if I was to make videos for you guys, all y'all would have heard was... Ugh. Ugh. That's all y'all would have heard, honestly. Um, if I was recording any videos for you guys. And y'all didn't deserve that. Um, y'all also didn't deserve me ghosting you guys. So, I apologize. Um, I should have said something, even though I did say I was pregnant. I kind of said something, but not really. But I should have continued to check in with you guys, and I didn't. Um, I was just mentally not there. And I remember telling my friend we were laughing. And I was like, if post and prenatal or prenatal postpartum is a thing, post prenatal partum, if that can be a whole thing, that's what I had. That's what I had. I had post and prenatal. That's I had them together. If that's the thing, because I was so down mentally and physically from everything that was going on. And yeah, so um, life has taken a toll on us in the last couple of months, and we have managed to still find happiness and be positive through it all, um, with everything going on. And, you know, we're still trying to find uh, a medium ground to be, okay, it's okay, it won't last forever, we're gonna get these last things done, and hopefully that is it. And I, I'm praying that is it, because I'm hoping to go into 2022 with a new budget, of course, um, saving challenges and all, I, I'm hoping to have a refresh, restart, um, for 2022 and uh i don't want to sit and just continue to dwell on what has happened to us in the last um few months i will say even though i haven't recorded i've still been budgeting in my budget book and also in my life planner um my life no i live sorry my live rich planner from the budget mom and i actually really really like that planner um, I've loved it. I've been doing that for the past month and I really like it. Um, if you guys want to see a video of that, let me know. Um, I'm up to making videos again. Um, I'm going to try to get as many videos as I can before baby comes. Of course, it probably won't be back to back to back, but when I do have the energy and I can be able to do that, especially with having my toddler, not toddler, but my baby who is now active, and very vocal um some it's been hard to even try to get a video done because she doesn't nap unless she's in my arms um so y'all can imagine how that is she refuses to lay down for a nap um without me um and if she does it's like 10 minutes so i will try to do my best to get videos out to you guys but i did want to do this video for you guys today um again if you do want to see how i've been doing the live rich planner just comment down below, let me know. 
And I'll be sure to make that a priority at some point and go ahead and do that for you guys so you guys can see it. I won't be doing any cash stuffings for this month. Um, I'm hoping come January, at the latest, January 15th, I can start doing cash stuffings again with a new budget um, and a new, a new set of cash envelopes. Not like actual cash envelopes, but categories and stuff like that after reevaluating our budget and what has happened over the last couple months. Um, that I will say what everything has happened, it has allowed us to look at things differently and recalculate what we need to put into certain categories. And that in itself, um, we are grateful for. So, um, so yeah, you guys won't see any cash stuffings. I'm so sorry. Um, we're still trying to pay this stuff off and we are um, putting all that we can to these extra expenses. Um, with what we have, what we would put in cash stuffings or sinking funds. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are still here with me. I know it is a long video. I do want to give a shout out to all my budget babes, my boss babes, my friends, my YouTube friends who have all checked up on me through these last couple months. When I tell y'all, y'all are the sweetest people out there in the community. Y'all are so freaking sweet. I have gotten tons of messages from you guys um asking if i'm okay just checking up on me telling me to you know rest take it easy you know youtube can wait we're there you guys are still here you know just very encouraging words that i needed to hear and thank you guys so 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 much you don't know how much that meant in a time where i felt like i was depressed and everything was just coming down on us y'all words really meant a lot to me it really did and thank you um and even in the times of distress or financial frustration and aggravation, you know, I also celebrated my dad's um, second year of him passing. That was hard as well. Um, so it was it, it was a lot of things that kept me down these past couple months. And um, yeah, so. Again, your words m meant more than you could ever imagine. Um, it, it meant a lot. It really did. And so, yeah. But y'all pray for your girl. Um, y'all pray for my family that we continue to continue striving and continue going despite what's going on. And, you know, this too shall pass. This is what I'm telling myself and I'm telling my family this too shall pass. Um we did take a little vacation um, for Thanksgiving. It was definitely needed. We decided to put everything on pause and take a vacation. Now, mind you, we did think, we was like, we could have used that money to get some tires. We didn't care. I, we needed to get away. We needed a vacation. We needed to be able to reset our minds. We needed to get out of this house. We needed to just have some fun that we did not have in the past couple months. And I'm glad that we did. We really, really enjoyed ourselves. Um, we did vlog, but that is on our other channel, our family vlog channel. I am in the middle of editing that video too. Hopefully that will be up in the next couple of days. Um, I've been falling asleep <laughs> editing the video. So hopefully that will be up in the next couple of days, but it was definitely a well-deserved trip because we, we needed emphasis on needed we needed to get away and we needed to refresh and it allowed us to to think and say okay what is our game plan once we get home and that was nice to have so yeah um again my life has been crazy i wish i would have kept you guys on the journey so y'all can see that you know life is not all fairy tales and you know people on YouTube do have real issues and go through real things. And just because we budget does not mean that we don't have money issues because we do. And that's the reason why we do budget. And so, but with everything going on, honestly, it slipped my mind to even pick up a camera and even show anything because we were just in storm mode. Like, okay, what are we finna do? So, yeah. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's long, but thank you guys for staying with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And for the people who are asking for baby bumps, because I have not posted a baby bump, I will show my baby bump here so y'all can see 
what my baby is. I think I am 25 weeks, 25 or 26. So yeah, video cut off again, but I'm gonna say my goodbyes. I'm gonna show you my belly bump really quick. Like I said, I think I'm between 25 to 26 weeks. I don't know y'all, I, I stopped counting. It's the fourth baby. I stopped counting, y'all. <laughs> so, yes. Um, but, bad mommy, I forgot my appointment today. So, I have to reschedule to make another appointment. I slept through it. Um, but, I don't regret that because I needed that sleep. And, yeah. So, again, I'm 25, 26. And our baby's name will be Nubia. Um, I'm super excited and I really love that name. So, um, before I get cut off again, here is a view of my little fourth baby baby girl um that we will hopefully soon be seeing in the next couple all right y'all so this is baby nubia that we'll be seeing in the next few months like i said i believe i'm 25 or 26 weeks so this is my belly and she's just resting in there so yep this is me y'all right, y'all so again i will see you guys in another video if you want me to do content videos on budgeting um and you don't mind music um over the video or voiceovers let me know um and i will continue to do budgeting videos that way instead of me talking through the videos even though i know you guys like the talking um i just have to figure out a way how to do things according to my baby schedule um and also this baby schedule and how she treats my body so again thank you for tuning in i love y'all so 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 much and i hope y'all are having a blessed day.